Ew. Oh my God. Did you see that? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to film this bird. It's so close. Nature is so magical. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, no, that's actually good because it ties in to the theme of today's video. There's some neighborhood drama going on. There's a lot going on in my neighborhood. There's rumors being spread and I've been doing a lot of investigative journalism, investigative reporting, and um, I gotta tell you about it because I've collected a lot of evidence so far from unusual sources. Today, we I wanna go to Ikea because I wanna get new curtains because these are horrendous and I wanna close this out. Number one, I don't like to look through here. And number two, I don't want my nosy neighbors to see in here any longer. So we need to get some curtains from Ikea. I've heard they get the best curtains. Let's go pick out an outfit. It's important that we look gorgeous going to Ikea. I just got a big Nasty Gal package in because I'm working with Nasty Gal again for this video. <laughs> and at this point, it's like every fourth video is Nasty Gal video. So here it is. So they sent me a bunch of stuff. I picked it out, but I think I should wear it today because it's all like cozy cold weather gorgeousness. So let me just show you what I got. We have a lot of crew necks to choose from. I have this cute Alaska one. I bought it and I put it on yesterday because Jarvis wants to move to Alaska. And he was like, oh. He goes, you don't even know what Alaska's like. Okay, then I got this one. It's like a washed Nebraska crew neck, oversized. I feel like I wanna wear that really bad. Then I got this one, you know me. I had to get the NYC. I got these gorgeous earrings. Just check these out, all right? That's cute. So then I got this big puffer jacket. We're wearing it, we're wearing it. I had to get, this was like a, a must get, okay? So I got one before and it's just like, it's just a vest. But this is the best vest you'll ever find, okay? There's a lot of vests out there, this is the best one. I already bought a chocolate one, but this is the one I really wanted. It was sold out and then I finally got it. We'll definitely wear this over one of the crew neck sweatshirts and then we're gonna wear the puffer jacket i did get a pair of shoes um high potato shoes meets sherpa gorgeous <laughs> i mean come on these are really cute these are like so ikea too like this is ikea so we'll do that with the puffer jacket um, i also got this vest too which i could wear but I really want to wear the black one, so. This one's so cool, it's like a reversible vest. And then the inside is like all peach. So you could reverse it. It's just, I thought it was kind of a cool color contrast. I'm kind of leaning towards the Nebraska. I love this one though, the NYC. It's just kind of gorgeous cute. Ugh, I don't know. And then the Alaska is just a classic. All right, let me get changed. Okay, these earrings are really cute, but I feel like they might be too big, but whatever. Actually, they kind of look cute. Okay, I really want to wear this puffer. Oh my god, I have to wear it. Oh my god, so cute. <gasps> I mean, yes. I probably should change my socks though. I like this puffer though. Okay, I feel like I can pull it off. The two jackets on top of one. First of all, let me just say, it's like only 40 minutes to get there to Ikea, which is like not really that far. Like when I was in high school, I would drive to the ends of the earth practically to go places and it was like, did it matter? And now I'm like afraid of driving anywhere that's over 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm so anxious about driving this far, this far, that I packed myself a lunch. Like, what? <laughs> okay, let me fill you in since we have all this time. This neighborhood drama began before we even moved into this house, okay? So I was speaking to my State Farm agent who is like my favorite person besides my husband probably. He's got like a really big personality and he's like, yeah, I've been to a couple parties in your neighborhood. And I used to be on like the PTA for my kids' schools. So he would be, he was very involved or whatever. He, oh, so you're familiar with the neighborhood. I go, what are, you know, what are they like? I, I haven't, you know, what are the people like in the neighborhood? I'm just saying, you know, I'm just asking simple questions. No drama yet, no drama. So he's like, eh, some people are really great, but there's a lot of snobby people in your neighborhood. He goes, it actually is so bad that there are Facebook like wars basically going on right now. And I go, what? What's going on? And he's like, well, there's another neighborhood that's on like the north side and 
they have a rivalry with your neighborhood, which is more of a south side neighborhood. And this neighborhood is a little bit newer than yours. So people get very territorial and there's like, it's like battling neighborhoods on Facebook where people are like arguing about whose neighborhood's best. One neighborhood got a food truck, does food truck Friday. The other one tries to outdo them with fireworks and like the whole nine yards, right? I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> so that's the first thing I, so I get kind of tipped off that there's like, there's some weirdness, kind of cringy, like goofball behavior. <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. Hopefully my neighbors aren't gonna be like that, whatever, whatever. So then, this happened during Vlogmas and I didn't say anything online because I was just like, you know, I don't know if I should. I should probably just keep this to myself. But one day during Vlogmas, it was the day where I was wearing a full Grinch ensemble. I was wearing a Grinch like sweatshirt that I bought from Walmart <laughs> and I was wearing like Grinch pants too that said like Merry Grinchmas or something. I'm listening to Christmas music and somebody rings our doorbell. It's usually just like a package or something, but I, I went over and you know, I still have my music blaring and I just open it to see if it's uh, a package because I was expecting one. Well, I open the door and there's a, a woman, an older woman standing there and she was dressed up like real, just sort of, you know, the faux fur, like collar jacket with like, it's kind of feathery. She's wearing what I believe to be a fake Burberry scarf. I open the door, she goes, hi. You know, like, you know the lady that does skits of annoying, pretentious moms on TikTok? Hi, <laughs> hi, I'm so sorry to do this. It was like the hi. I'm here to ask for a really big favor. I know you're new to the neighborhood. And then I'm like, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm standing there in a full Grinch, you know, two piece. The music's blaring. Boo is trying to get outside behind me, of course. So I go, yeah. And she goes, wait a minute. Um, are you the homeowner? And says it to me like halfway through this already nauseating conversation. And I'm so glad that I thought of my feet for once because a lot of time when these things happen, I'll think of something witty after the fact. But I go, oh no, I just opened other people's doors. I mean, it is so rude <laughs> to come over to somebody's house and then be like, are you even the homeowner? Like, you know what I'm saying, like that. She goes, okay, well, um, you have a light in the back of your house that is shining into our house and I just could you just turn it off and I knew what light she was talking about it's a motion activated light now we have that on because we've had raccoons that try to get onto our roof because we live in the woods so we have those there for like a real reason you know not just because we're trying to be annoying with a light on but I, I agree that it was kind of an annoying light and I've been trying to like figure out how to turn it off, but it's motion activated, so it just goes on. So I go, oh yeah, I go, no problem. And I'm kind of saying it with like my teeth gritted, but I go, yeah, no problem. And she goes, oh my God, thank you, because it is so annoying and it's shining in, the, in your other neighbors, their bedroom window all night. And I go, oh, well, I just said I was gonna turn it off, so. Not a problem. Yeah, I said I was gonna turn it off and then she like piles on and like has to let me know that she's been discussing it with other neighbors in the neighborhood before talking to me about it. So anyway, it's just like, ew, okay, ew. Okay, nice fake Burberry scarf lady, I see that. And then she goes, well, anyway, happy holidays. And she hands me a tiny box of like, assorted specialty chocolates or whatever. And you know, I can't eat them because I'm vegan. And I just take them and I go, okay. And I shut the door. <laughs> anyway, I take these chocolates, right? And I look at it. This woman left the price tag on it. How tacky could you be? 
leaving the price tag on this ridiculous box of chocolates and it was like $10 or 12 bucks or something and she had gone out. She had been stewing about this so long she had gone out and got chocolates. Like it was so frustrating. And by the way, this is a major reason why I want to get curtains in that room because I do not want to stare into their backyard anymore. And it was so funny, my father-in-law, I called him after this happened and he is like the nicest person. I've never one time in like six years now, have, have I ever heard him say a mean thing about anybody else? <laughs> and I call him and I go, how do I turn this light off? I don't know how to turn it off. This lady just came up to my door, so annoying. I mean, fake Burberry scarf, the whole nine yards. He goes, that's weird. I didn't know there was a light law in your neighborhood for having lights on. He goes, did you ask her when she's gonna take down that hideous swing set that nobody wants to look at? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, yes. I go, you know what, you're right. I don't wanna look at this swing set. I'm getting curtains. I'm figuring this out, okay? Okay, so next story, the, the plot thickens. I get my car oil change finally, okay? And I, it turns out I took it in 3,000 miles too early. <laughs> but whatever, I just wanted to get it over with. My tires were, their tire pressure was all messed up. I just was like, okay, I can't do this. I'm taking it in. So I take it in yesterday, right, to get an oil change at the Hyundai dealership. And he's asking me for my address. So I start to give him my address. And as soon as I say the street that I live on, he goes, oh, yep, I know what city you're in, yeah. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, you're driving around my neighborhood? He goes, oh yeah, well, I used to work for Domino's and I used to deliver pizzas to that neighborhood all the time. And I go, really? And now I see my opportunity. And the way he said it, it was like, I knew that he did not have a high opinion of my neighborhood when he said that. So I go, so did you deliver a lot of pizzas on my street? He goes, oh yeah. That, he goes, yep, that's how I remember. I mean, I remember that neighborhood. You, you'd be surprised at who you, you know, who you remember. And I go, well, do you know anything about people in my neighborhood? And, and, and like I said, I'm just asking simple questions. And he goes, let's just say it's a bunch of snotty kids whose parents pay for absolutely everything and their parents are even more insufferable than the kids. He goes, one time I went into your neighborhood and one guy tipped me 36 cents. I'm standing there with my mouth hanging open. I go, look, you're not the first person to tell me this. Anyway, all I can say is it's some neighborhood beef and if we don't get curtains today, I just don't know what else to say. You know, we have to get curtains today. <laughs> I am like just ready to block out all the haters, literally and figuratively. So that's the tea. Checkouts. I'm about to eat my lunch. I'm starving. Good thing I packed it. I have beans and rice. <laughs> That's like what I eat every single day. Honestly, I look forward to it every day. They're not doing like, hold on, I have to eat or I'm gonna throw up. I'm starting to feel lightheaded in there, I'm not joking. They're not doing like, they're not checking people out. They're making you do self checkout. I don't know if that's like a for right, like during the day thing or what, but that was like so legit the worst. I was like so nervous because I really wanted these specific curtains 
that everybody gets. It's called like the Ritva or something. And I couldn't find them anywhere. And then I found them. So I was like, oh, thank God. They were out of stock of a lot of stuff I wanted. But I did end up getting a huge plant. And then I thought I might do a layered moment with the curtains and do like little lace ones and before that. Like they're like really sheer. They're really cute. Back home, I bought this big plant, but I'm gonna save everything else I bought from Ikea for my vlog channel. We have some business to take care of. So this is like whoever hung these, what were you doing, girly? Well, it's like everything that you're not supposed to do. So here's what I know. You're supposed to hang it really high up, far apart, make the window look bigger. I hate the view out of here. But the real thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to block out. You can see kind of through here. There's that ugly swing set that I hate. I'm gonna have to take that down and somehow get this up there. We'll see if I can do it. I'm not really good at hang. I'm not handy. You know, I'm seeing all these other girls that are woodworking and stuff. I'm like, that's not my dream, you know? Okay, there's been a mistake made. <laughs> First of all, I didn't measure the curtains before I left, what size they need to be. And I saw the curtains were in stock, so I go, oh, that's that's them. No, I got the 67 inch, five inch ones and there's 98 inch ones and those were out of stock. So I basically went down there for no reason today and I can't even get them shipped to me. <laughs> So I can't put these up because they're just, they're like super short. I don't even know what kind of window these would go to. <laughs> and now I have two packs of them I paid $45 or both. Look, the day's not ruined though because I did buy four packs of these. And these should be 98 inches, but I don't know if they are. <laughs> Ugh, what is wrong with me? Oh my God. All right. Well, we'll try to, I'll try to hang them up anyway. And then I'll try to get my hands on the other ones. looking at it and look it looks better than what I had before but it definitely doesn't look right still but I'll just show you and then I'll make the necessary arrangements yeah so this is these are the curtains now do they look amazing no could I have hung it higher yes can I see through them yeah I, I can I could add more curtains and just like really load it. We'll see. I do feel like it looks better though. That's them closed. I mean, it kind of looks decent. Even like as sheer as it is, it still looks kind of cute, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm working on it, okay? I could add more on. I have two more packs I could add to really beef it up. But yeah, basically the plot thickens because my neighbors can definitely still see through here. <laughs> so. I'm gonna have to work on it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this video. Check out the fits down below, link down below. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in my next video, I guess. Bye.